Hello Internet World, back again for another video and in today's video I have got a range of peripherals or accessories from HP and their Omen range which is their Omen gaming range which is absolutely amazing. Now for those of you eagle-eyed you'll have been watching my videos over the last maybe about three months and you'll have seen over the back here I've got an HP Omen gaming desktop PC that has not been sitting there idle. I've been using that in the background for quite a while now and I've shown you a few little accessories for it and also talked to you about it in various videos. Uh, today I'm stepping up with a whole range of peripherals that are dedicated to this particular PC but also you can use them on any brand of course because they're compatible with, uh, with other brands as well and they offer up really good quality. I'm going to start with the keyboard before I do so this is a live broadcast so big hello to Pip Tomlinson thanks for tuning in and Aaron I really appreciate you tuning in again Aaron that really is good of you. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments at all use the live chat if you're watching after the live broadcast use the regular comment section down below I don't know why I did that should have been that comment down below I answer pretty much all questions and comments that go down there and also one other thing if you are new to the Geek Noise channel please do hit that like button and the subscribe button as well anyway we have got Amir Bilal also uh, asking am I an HP fan uh, I love my HP Omen desktop it's run absolutely superbly since I got it uh, far better than another brand I experienced uh, the previous year uh, really very very pleased with the build quality and all of these peripherals I'm going to show you I'm extremely impressed with these as well let's start with this this is the HP Omen sequencer this is the keyboard it's an optical mechanical gaming keyboard it's got built-in USB port macro keys oversized spacebar a gaming mode a volume scroller bar and it also is configurable with the I think it's called HP command center really very very nice uh, nice box Anyway, let's pop the box out of the way and have a look at the actual keyboard. Ugh, it's got some weight to it. So this is what the keyboard looks like. Very, very nice indeed. You can hear it is, it is of course, mechanical. Really nice design on this. We have, of course, got flip-out feet on the base here. Uh, we've got the extra USB port on this end here. We've got a very, very thick and, and generous length braided cable which terminates in two, let's get this into view, two USB uh, plugs on the end here for connecting this. If we look at it from this angle, this is one of the, the my favorite features. This is like a metal knurled finish uh, roller bar, which is for the volume. I absolutely love this. And it's in a really nice striking red color. So love that. You can see the key actuations as well. If I show you this at this angle, very very nice and a really nicely laid out keyboard with a full function key layout uh, also we've got an additional button here uh, which is for muting as well so we've got like a mute button just here on this top section nicely positioned next to the actual uh, volume roller there uh, so full numeric keypad on the side proper layout with all of the additional keys in this central section and then of course a full size keyboard here macro keys along this edge here as well for your settings and your macros of course and the really nice actuations of the keyboard this has got I'm gonna have to put it on my lap because I've got not got room on my desk but it's got such a nice feeling to it very very nice indeed now when you've got this plugged in it does light up we've got zoned lighting on this so full RGB backlighting which you can customize in the H HP command center and it just feels really very very nice to use this in comparison to what I was using previously on my HP Omen desktop there because when I purchased this I just purchased the desktop I didn't purchase a keyboard or anything with it I've been using like the Microsoft Surface keyboard which isn't a gaming keyboard at all it's just very similar to what I've been used to using on the Mac this in comparison to what I've been using is like night and day it really is this is absolutely superb far far better for gaming and for general typing use as well uh, love the styling on this as well the actual piece here is metal so it's got this metal background as well very very cool solid keyboard nice weight to it and superb travel and feedback on the keys so that's the omen sequencer keyboard let's move on oh, let's pop that down over there let's move on to the next product which is this this is the omen reactor 
This is their gaming mouse. I don't know if you can get a good view of that without the camera reflecting in it. Uh, this has got on-the-fly DPI control, programmable buttons, a thumb rest, metal cable, uh, RGB lighting as well, and an adjustable arm rest. Uh, it also says ergonomic right-handed shape. Well, it, most mice are right-handed, unfortunately. Uh, that's a big complaint I get from a lot of people, uh, that they can't get an ambidextrous mouse or a left-handed mouse. This is, in fact sort of for, for right-handed uh, it's quite a, in stark contrast I know mice don't need to be heavy but in stark contrast to the keyboard this doesn't feel as good I'm really sorry to say it but I'm always honest in my reviews and this just feels a little bit cheaper or a little bit cheap compared to the keyboard it, it's not a deal breaker let's go through some of the features it's still got a nice braided cable terminated again with USB all of the USBs just for the, the branding I've got red plastic inside uh, that's just really nice because the HP Omen colors are black and red we've got a spring here as well for the palm rest area uh, which is really nice and that's in this sort of anodized red color as well We've got the light up area here for the RGB lighting. Uh, we've got nice placement of the keys. This is like the thumb rest. We've got additional uh, buttons here. We've got additional button on the top, of course. We've got the uh, scroll wheel, and we can also click this for a button as well. This has got a slight ratchet mechanism. Uh, and then we've also got the adjustability on the side here. It's a nice feeling mouse, very, very smooth. Nice smooth glide pads on the bottom and it feels a nice shape and a nice size. So overall performance wise, the mouse is very good. But as I say, just in comparison to that keyboard, it just feels like cheaper grade plastics. It doesn't feel as good. HP, if you're listening, you need to up your game on the mouse. It works absolutely fine. It's just the overall feel that you get. And if you're spending a lot of money on your gaming peripherals, you want them to feel good as well as perform well. After all, you're in contact with this all the time, so higher grade materials would be appreciated on that. Let's move on to the last item, then I have a look inside the live chat. Headset, very, very cool. Absolutely love this. This is really very, very cool. Let me just um, show you the product box first of all. This is the Omen Mindframe. This is what the box looks like, a very substantial box. 7.1 virtual surround sound on this, RGB lighting again, uh, self-adjusting suspension headband, uh, on ear cup volume control, unidirection flip to mute the mic, uh, also breathable moisture wicking fabric on the ear cup cushions, and again, the uh, Omen command center allows you to control everything on this headset. Let's take a closer look at it. We've got a braided cable again, so everything's got braided cables. Same USB plug with that red sort of highlight in it. Very, very nice looking headset, look at this. And th this is a nice headband. So we've got a combination of plastics and metals. It's sort of plastic across this bit and then metal as it comes down into the ear cup. Uh, red cabling going into each of the ear cups, which is really very nice. Uh, on here, we've got this knurled metal again for the volume, which I really do like. Uh, and it just feels like a really good quality headset. So it's a nice feeling headset. Uh, now, with regards to the microphone, here's the mic. This actually flips down into position. That makes it active. You've got the little pinhole mics on the end. Also lighting on the tip. If you want to mute it, you simply push it up and then it's muted. So that's a really nice way of doing the microphone. What I really like about this headphone though is the headband. Plenty of padding. But as it suggests, you don't pull these out to adjust the size. Or, or do you, actually? No, it, has, it hasn't got any sort of size on here. But the size is adjusted via this. And it's really very, very comfortable. And I often struggle with my headphones not having enough padding on the top. But this is very, very comfortable. Very comfortable indeed. Look at it. You can just you can just see that these just fit very very nicely, super supple around the ear pads as well. And again, you can just flip this mic down into position, and then back up to mute. And they've got some nice design styling on the side. If I if I show you these side on, you can see these have got some really nice design to the side. Nice angular sort of uh, insert here. Lots of stuff going on on these. And, and also this sort of fluted sort of angular piece of metal jutting out 
really just a superb job with regards to design. I'll come on to audio very quickly. I just noticed uh, that I've got a couple of questions coming. Alfie's alternative titles. What Cherry switches would you say the keys are similar to on the keyboard? It's really hard to say. They've got the very unique feel to them and a superb travel. One of the best mechanical keyboards I've used. So sorry not to answer that question directly. I can't pick out a similarity. Richard Smallman, would you choose this over the Razor or Astro headsets? Well, a lot of the Astro headsets are wireless, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, um, and they've got their own unique sound. Uh, Razor, again, they do wired or wireless. What I would say, coming on to the sound of these, the, the styling, I would choose these personally over the two brands you've mentioned, uh, purely because they, they match my design aesthetic, what I like, they match my HP Omen, and I just like this sort of stealthy look. Very minimal sort of red parts on here as well, so not too over the top. With regards to audio, wow, these will blow you away. I'll tell you something, the mic pickup on these, first of all, is one of the best I've experienced. Very, very clear audio picked up from the mic, according to the recipients. And with regards to actual audio through the ear cups, very, very nice. A very convincing uh, sort of Suedo 7.1 or Virtual 7.1 surround sound but really a lot of detail coming through. And you need that when you're gaming. You need the detail to come through in these headsets. And you can pick up real nuances in the sound, footsteps, people coming behind you. Really very, very convincing. So in answer to your question, I think I would choose these over the, not necessarily, you haven't mentioned any specific models, but I would choose these over most other headsets I've tested so far. They are absolutely superb. Uh, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to pick up any of these products for yourself, then please do check out the links down in the video description. There's also a link there to the main HP website, so you can check out their laptops and desktops as well. Uh, I'm really pleased with these accessories though. Very, very impressed. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Thank you for your questions as well. Any more questions, please do pop them down in the comments section below. Have an amazing week ahead. Please do hit like on this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in another video very soon.